Here we are with Jujutsu Kaisen episode 20. So yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you think. And I would say let's get to the episode. Flashback? <clears throat> Is this young Toto? I guess so. <laughs> He wants a real fight. <clears throat> An interesting one. <clears throat> oh, hello. Your type. <laughs> she looks cool. Interesting. Want to see more about that. Total backstory. Let's go. <clears throat> wonder if we will see more of his backstory this episode or if this was just a glimpse and for the rest we have to wait long <laughs> I guess we will see a bit more this episode I would guess otherwise this would be a bit weird showing it right now a bit <clears throat> I also wonder if we, if we will see some Gojo action here. Or because he is outside that he will do nothing. And I wonder if this fight here, this whole thing, takes maybe until the end of the season? Hmm. Because there's still quite a few episodes left. So maybe I guess not till the very end of the season, but somewhere, and then we get like the after, like how everything calms down and the after effects of this whole thing going on here. <coughs> and if that how it is, then I believe we won't beat them here all together. So I guess we have to deal with those spirits the next season too. <laughs> Let's go. The clapping. Very good. <laughs> Hopefully. <clears throat> of course. Yeah, of course. Mm hmm We beat it to a pub. Of course. <laughs> Damn the OC. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Guess he didn't account for this to happen.
I guess not. The clapping comes. Switch position with him. Yep. Her. Him. Whatever. <laughs> That's very handy. Boogie woogie. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Dude, that's so crazy. <laughs> right, you never know. <laughs> he looks like as if he comes right now. <laughs> Just in my pants. <laughs> Maybe there's a clap. The zone. <laughs> I have to rewatch this part. <laughs> Will Itadori do it more often than that, maybe? Is he going all out? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, two! But I mean, this is now already three, right? Whoa! Four! Okay, it just counts as three because the other time is so long ago, I guess, maybe? He fakes it. He didn't activate it. Yeah, you can fake it. <laughs> That's so nasty. <clears throat> Four! <laughs> Do we get five? Dude, he's already going at it. I wonder if this is like luck or if he really has like a really good feeling about it. Void. <clears throat> Do we get five? <laughs> Clap. Okay. N we just got four. All right. And the OSD. It's a bit of a Persona vibe, I would say. Persona 5. <laughs> oh, that was 5, I guess you could say.
She enjoys it. Ugh, what the fuck is this? Woo! Oh! I mean, he said that, right? Oh, he can't... Sw I, I guess he means, like, swapping Itadori with this plant thingy. Can he? The plant thingy thought Toto can just swap with someone else. Oh, <laughs> the idol Takada. <laughs> Just this normal body. Big brain. <laughs> I like Toto. <laughs> so dumb. But also, ah, at home, boy. <laughs> oh, animals. Oh, my God. <clears throat> It's crazy. Oh. 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 <laughs> he doesn't know. Dude, that ability is so crazy. The potential he has with it. <clears throat> Dude, he can basically become like uh, Minato from Naruto. He just throws lots of curse items and then he can teleport to them around like crazy. Oh, it absorbs it. Maybe to gain more curse energy now? To fuel? Of course. Yeah, because you basically destroy the nature you want to, to save. <clears throat> but then... Who's this? Oh? Gojo? Did he destroy it? Looks white. Yep. Oh, oh. <laughs> Gojo's here. 
Dude, his blue eyes. Oh, here we go. That's what I want to see. Let's see what he can do with it. Okay. Okay. I think it's not that easy, right? What can she what can she do? Who's this? <clears throat> A human. Onobara and my <laughs> She seems to be that the other two are here. No. What's now? <clears throat> oh, this happened now. Okay. <laughs> Wimp. Do we see some Gojo action? Now you get Gojo. He can fly? Time's up, bitch. I guess he has his target. He sees it immediately. Okay, he's like, okay, they have it. Dumb. <laughs> <laughs> What? I thought he would do a giant domain. <clears throat> but will he let you?
Oh, he knows? Is he feeling it? <laughs> what the? F what the fuck? <laughs> the OST. <laughs> I think it got away, right? I would imagine. <laughs> God damn, man, this episode. <laughs> Another finger. God damn, what an episode. Oh yeah, Jujutsu Stroll, right. Ugh. I hope season 2 has no Jujutsu Strolls. Panda. <laughs> Salmon. Right. Okay, that was episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah, um, we got a snippet of Toto backstory and I definitely want to see more, I'm interested, because I really start to like Toto. And then later, <clears throat> they talk about the Black Flash again, right? And uh, Namani Kento, it says here on the screen, I have it open. Um, the guy with the glasses said, using, or using Black Flashes consecutively isn't something amazing. But then the next thing he says is using it more than twice in a row or on the same day might be difficult. It's not amazing, but it is difficult. It's kind of weird, right? Um, <clears throat> so, and I guess then he said, let me see, did he say anything else after that? Uh, hmm? I think nothing really important, but yeah interesting that he says it's nothing amazing but then says it might be difficult to do it on the same day or uh, in a row um, and yeah I mean the fight was pretty cool with the clapping <laughs> and I love the dynamic between Itadori and Toto it's so good and like I said in the episode Toto's ability yes very simple he just has to clap but <clears throat> so versatile and he can get so much use out of it. He can basically carry around cursed objects, right? And just throw them out like some pebbles or some shit, right? Like maybe, um, are there clap traps like these little spiky things? Maybe he can carry those around that are maybe have, that maybe have cursed energy and then he just throws them out and then he can teleport to any location where they lay, uh, lay around. So that's pretty crazy if you can do something like that right just have something with you that is like curse objects throw them out to random locations in the vicinity and then you can just teleport around and attack that's very crazy has lots of potential and i have to say i'm a bit disappointed by the by the um principal from the kyoto school i really hoped we would see more action from him but he just used one attack and it didn't it wasn't something crazy, right? Um, so that was a bit disappointing, I would say. But okay, maybe we get a different chance. I guess not this season, but maybe season two, maybe? I don't know. I guess we will see. And yeah, I mean, <clears throat> also interesting that Gojo 
broke the barrier. I guess he broke the barrier as a veil. Um, I wonder how. If he just overpowered it or something? I don't know. And then he goes wild. <laughs> and how wild he goes. He broke this one guy's arms and legs like nothing. Completely destroyed him basically. And then he... I guess he didn't fucked up the plant thingy, right? Because I guess it got away. With like an inch of its life, I guess. So... I mean, I guess we will find out next episode if it's if it's dead. I don't think so, or if it's if it got like hit a little bit by the attack of Gojo, um, or if it's like complete got away just in time to not get any damage from it, right? Um, but yeah, my I mean that is pretty crazy what Gojo did. Is this part of his curse technique? <clears throat> And does this thing he did with the blue and red, does that con is is that considered as a cursed technique or is that just cursed energy somehow? I guess it should be a cursed technique, right? I don't know. But I mean, can someone have multiple cursed techniques? Or is the thing he did just part of his infinity technique, cursed technique? I don't know. It's bit confusing i would say in that regard and yeah then there was this blonde dude with the weird sword and ran away so that was also kind of underwhelming <laughs> a bit and weird but otherwise dope episode i really enjoyed the fight with itadori and toto and the dynamic they have and also gojo right i it's always funny to see how gojo goes all out because he's basically from what they said the strongest jujutsu sorcerer right so it's always interesting to see what he can do how strong he is because so far we only saw the domain really and now we saw this episode and it's just impressive to see what he can do um but yeah i guess that's the episode i guess pretty much i guess there was nothing else really i mean there was a moment when toto was in his mind and the idol came around and <laughs> he's thinking about it. What he should do if he should block those butts with his curse energy. Or if he just uses his body normally. So, yeah, that was funny again. And he's really obsessed with her. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, I guess that's the episode. I guess there wasn't much else to talk about really, I guess. Will be interesting to see where we are going from here. Because this is now resolved and we are at episode 20. And I think there are 26 episodes, so that means there are 6 more episodes. And I guess, like I said, I guess we won't finish this thing up with the Cursed Spirits here. So I guess they will make an appearance in Season 2 too, I guess. Um, Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. Because, like I said, I'm, I'm not really a big fan of these Cursed Spirits. So I think I would have liked it if this maybe gets finished up by the end of season one but i guess it's not but yeah i guess we will have to see what comes right i mean there's still six episodes left so maybe we can wrap it up or i don't know we will see but yeah if you like what you saw leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think and we'll say thanks for watching until next time Bye bye